Imagine day trading crypto and even scalping crypto prices 24 seven, completely automated. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that with crypto trading bots. I'll show you how I use Pionex, which is this platform right here, to basically set up trading bots that take advantage of volatility all day long without me having to be by the screen. I'm gonna show you actually how to use the app as well um, that I've got right here. I'll leave the link to Pionex in the description if you want to sign up and uh, follow along with me and set up the bots exactly how I have them. There are three different bots and you need to know exactly how to set them up um, to make sure that you're doing the right thing because if you set them up wrong, then it's gonna have the wrong outcome for you. So I'll show you uh, exactly how to set them up and also what grids are and how they work in this video. Just gonna jump in before the video and show you this bot that I set up for the video. It's been running for just over a day now. You can see it's actually in profit at the moment. Now, obviously it's gonna flip up and down depending on where the price goes. But you can see I've printed some grid profits and I have an unrealized gain as well, almost $60 at the moment. So um, this is obviously going to change up and down. So what I'm gonna do is keep this bot running long-term. If you wanna see how this bot is getting on, then come into the public Discord server. I'll link it in the description and pin it as a comment and just ask me how this bot is doing and I'll show you when you're watching this video how this bot is doing. But what you can see if we go to the detail, we can go over to the transactions right here. You can see a ton of transactions that have gone through. These are my grids. These are the scalps that are going through and obviously printing some yields. And then these are all the transactions that the bot is going through, taking advantage of that volatility. So it's up at the moment, but it can change. So come into the Discord group, ask me how the bot is doing, and I'll show you how exactly it's doing when you're watching this video. So when it comes to grid trading bots, this is something that we can't do as humans. We just don't have the ability to trade this quick and to put in this amount of limit orders. But I'll show you exactly how the bot actually does this uh, and why it's something that we can't do. So. Um, it can be any asset. It actually doesn't matter what asset you trade. You know, it can be Bitcoin or Ethereum uh, or actually anything else. It just matters that the price trades within a range and that the price moves up and down. What you're doing is trading volatility. You know, the volatility of prices, right? And this is something that a bot can do because it's completely automated. And so you're not actually going long and saying, well, I'm going to buy at 26 and I hope to sell above. What you're saying is, as long as the price trades within a certain range, down and up, then I can print these grids automatically. So what a grid bot actually does is just set up, sets up a load of buys and sells. So this is a price right here, 30, 29, 28. These are buys that it will put in. Um, and then obviously it puts corresponding sells, uh, you know, sell orders, a certain amount above this. And this is known as a grid, right? So the buy low and the sell high. And when that grid is finished and you do actually buy low and sell high, that is when you print one of the grids and you essentially earn a small bit of profit. And that profit um, is put into your cash pile. Now on Pionex, you can actually withdraw that profit and that cash pile from the grid bot if you want, or you can keep it in there, um, you know, kind of uh, trading around your portfolio. So what happens is, all of these buyers have a corresponding sell uh, above the price that you bought at, right? But there's, they don't just put one in. It's just constantly refreshing. So the price can move from 30 uh, down to 29 and you bought one, then it can move up again and you can sell it. But you don't need to come down to this lower level to actually uh, do it again. What happens is that the bot will just refresh that buy and you can come down and then buy some and then it will refresh the sell right here and it will just do that over and over and over again. So you don't have to, you know, actually have a very volatile price. If it just trades up and down uh, about, you know, let's say quarter of a percent, half a percent, it will just constantly be buying and selling at these grids. Now, if the price does move down, obviously you'll go buy, uh, buy here and buy here and buy here. And then you do need the price to move up again. So you do need the price at some point to obviously um, you know, move up and then you can sell these grids like this. So what's happening, it's just consistently refreshing buys and sells all of the time between a specific price range that you set. And it's really important to get the price range right. I'm gonna go on to that next in the video um, to make sure that you set this up properly because if you don't, you know, you're gonna have some kind of weird results. So make sure you watch through that section of the video because um, you need to set up the grids properly for the, you know, the outcome that you want. So I'm gonna show you how to set up all of these grids step by step now. So the first thing obviously is to get onto the app. I'm gonna show you the app because I guess most people will use the app. They have a platform as well, which you can use. Um, but first thing I'm gonna do is just go to my account. So I've set up an account. I'll leave the Pionex link in the description. You can follow along um, and get set up with an account. You don't need KYC um, right now. 
uh, but you do if you want to use a card to pay for crypto. So I'll show you both uh, depositing and paying for a crypto. So the first thing right here, it says buy crypto. So if you want to use a credit card to buy crypto directly on the platform, you can do that. You do need to set up your ID documents on here, which you can go through and verify. Or what you can do is actually just deposit some USDT uh, onto the platform, which is what I do. So come and click deposit right here. It's going to take you through to your deposit address. So if you use crypto platforms already, you will know how to do this. But if not, uh, basically you need to deposit some USDT in from your crypto exchange. I'll show you how to do that. I'm actually going to use the BEP20 network. This is Binance Smart Chain network. This is a very cheap network to use, but you can use the Ethereum network, which is ERC20, or the Tron network, which is TRC20. So whichever your, um, your brokerage or your crypto um, exchange uses, you're gonna to have to use that network to transfer in. I use Binance, so I'm gonna to go to BEP20 BSC. It's gonna show me my address right here. Then what I have to do is go over to my Binance account and obviously select the coin that I wanna withdraw, which is USDT, paste my address in here. And then when it says network down here, obviously I have to choose BEP20. That's the Binance Smart Chain Network. You can see it's gonna cost me 80 cents, whereas on Ethereum, it cost me $35. So you know, that's why I choose the Binance Smart Chain Network, just for a simple transaction like this, to basically get some USDT into my Pinex account. So there's three main ways to set up GridBots and Pionex. There's an automated way, letting the system do it all for you. There's a manual way, which is more important. I'll show you that. And the third way is called a Moonbot, which is nothing crazy. It just essentially does um, what they think is a better strategy for uh, creating this type of trading bot. So I'll show you how to do that. This is the one that I set up yesterday. It's right here. But to set up a new bot, come to create a bot like this, and then it's gonna come up with these options. So grid trading bot is something that you, uh, you know, what I'm gonna cover in this video. And then down here you have BTC and ETH Moon, right? So um, don't worry, they're not crazy, but I'm gonna go to create grid trading bot right here. So what you can see is AI strategy, um, and then also manual settings. So let's go to AI strategy first. And you can see here, basically everything is chosen for you, right? So you can see the seven day backtest grid profit APR is 172%, right? Which is you know pretty good, <laughs> pretty good, right? For, that's a yearly uh, yield, by the way. So the price range here you can see is 34 to 45. Now there becomes a little bit of a problem here, right? So this is the price of Bitcoin right here. So what it's saying is the lower bound of this grid bar is 34 uh, down here and the upper bound is 45. Now, if we come to this, so let's say the upper bound is 45 and the lower bound is 34. If the price of Bitcoin trades between these levels, whatever it is, you will you'll be printing grids. If the price gets above or below, you will not be printing grids. Now, this might this basically has an issue is that if the price does get above here, you basically stop making grids and, and printing grids, right? Or below, then you, the, the bot kind of stops working. And that isn't the best for me. I would say just to have it wider, uh, the strategy is to just put money in and let the volatility play out over the long term. If you want to trade short term and you, you're like, no, I only want this bot to be working for a few weeks, then maybe concentrate your liquidity in a smaller amount, right? And so you're going to have more liquidity in the grids that you're trading um, that, that might help you. If you're longer term, then make the, the upper and lower bounds wider so that you can just let the bot run through higher and lower prices all the time. So hopefully that makes sense. If you do want to just let the system do everything automatically, then all you have to do is just literally come to automated and press create and that's it, right? You're done there. So I'm going to go over to manual right here. Manual lets you choose everything. So what we can hit have here is the lower bound. And let's say we want the lower bound to be uh, 30K. And then the upper limit, we want that to be 55. 55k, right? So the price of Bitcoin is printing grids between those levels. Now the grids, the amount of grids is really important. When you choose fewer grids, then you have fewer buys and sells. The price has to move much more between those grids in order for you to print profits. So if you had one grid, you would set up the grid with a buy at 34 and a sell at 45. So it's gonna take a ton of volatility to get up there. What I would do is have way more grids in between these prices, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that here. 
basically how many grids do you want you can choose between two and 200 so let's put 150 in something like that now the more grids for me personally the better because you're just taking advantage of shorter moves and you're printing more um, but obviously there are slightly more trading uh, fees the more that you trade so to keep that in mind as well so what you can see here is that the profit per grid is around um, you know, 0.21 to 0.46%. So that's what you're making per grid. Now, if I reduce the amount of grids you can to, to 50, you can see the amount of profit per grid goes up because the grids are wider apart. So what do I think is better? If you want to be printing grids a lot, then use more grids, but you might trade a bit more. And so a little bit more uh, trading fees comes out of them, um, but you're taking advantage of volatility. So I, I would suggest that that's something that you would want. And then the amount of money in your account, you can just choose how much you put in with this slider or click on here, press create. That will take about you know 10 seconds to set up all the bot and all the grids in the bot. If you want to trade ultra long term and you just want the bot to do its thing automatically, then the moon bot is the thing that you should use. So essentially manual bot, you can set up everything manually. AI bot is sh more short term. And then what you can do is come down to uh, moon bot. So create new bot right here, come down to BTC moon and everything is automated again. So you don't have to put in any parameters. Um, you can just choose how much of the balance that you want to put in. Now, the Moonbot is um, named as such because it's a really long-term bot where the the lower price is super low. Like I think the lower price bound is like 15,000 or something like that. And the upper price bound is very, very high as well, right? So you have a very wide margin where you're going to be printing bots. This is all automated. This is something that Pinex have um, created based on all of their data that they can see about what works best. So if you just press create here, this is all automated and it's going to be printing grids um, in a very wide margin. But if you really want specific control over what you're trading and the prices that the bot trades at, then obviously you're going to have to go over to manual um, and set it up yourself. Some things to consider before going into a bot are definitely the amount of commissions that you'll pay. And also if buying and selling like this is going to trigger any tax implications for your country, which it may do. So um, obviously be aware of that. Um, but let's have a look at how these bots run. So I'm going to go over to the detail down here. Now, if you want to um, stop a bot at any time, just come over to this uh, icon here and you can press that and basically cancel it. But we can come over to the detail and this is all my bots running, right? So this is exactly how the bot works. You can see I've got a buy order coming in here and I've got tons of buy orders all the way down, you know, much lower prices, right? And tons of sell orders as well. Now the bot is just gonna consistently move around with buy and sell orders all the time and take advantage of this volatility. Um, what you can see here on the top as well is the transactions. So like I showed you before, I've actually um, completed nine grids as you can see here. Uh, average per day is obviously nine because I set up yesterday, right? So you can see all of these grids that have printed. You can see the fees that I've been charged in you know, the trading fees. Um, this is yesterday, so I'll click on this one. You can see where I bought and sold, right? So I bought at 38.8, sold at 39.8. It's going to do that over and over and over again. Now, if the price comes down, um, then obviously the stuff that you bought higher, you're not going to be able to sell that. But if the price comes down, still within your range and then moves around, you're going to be printing more grids, printing more grids and taking some profits out of that anyway. So um, as we can see here, essentially the grid profit is separate to the unrealized uh, gain or profit. So if you did buy some and weren't able to sell them, the grid profit can print and print and print and actually just uh, make up for losses that might have happened at a higher price. So the, the kind of downside is, yes, you're still open to risk here. Obviously, you need to be taking risk. Um, and I wouldn't be putting my whole portfolio in here, definitely, um, because you know I buy and hold most, most of my portfolio. But if you're looking to day trade, then this is just an, a way to automate and take advantage of volatility overall. I do actually have another step-by-step -step tutorial on Pinex on how to actually get set up on the platform. And that's a little bit more practical in how to actually get your account set up and everything. I'll also leave the link to Pinex in the description if you want to go ahead and try them out. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.